Welcome to the weekly art show provided by the galleries of Granbury Square. I am Cynthia James with Artifacts, one of the galleries that exhibit art daily. The galleries are Artifacts, Lake Granbury Art Association, Langdon Cultural and Educational Center, and your private collection. We hope you enjoy this program whose purpose is to let you know what is currently on display. It is also about education since we also feature artists demonstrating their medium. Beside this show, we have special art shows and every month have last Saturday gallery night. That night we are open until 9 p.m. and have special activities and receptions. Hope to see you there this next month. Please go with me now to our first gallery. Well, in the meantime, I wanted to thank you guys for this amazing opportunity to show some of the most talented and hidden artist in Granbury and points just outside of Granbury. We actually did have two artists that were not in Granbury, but if they weren't in here, they were from here and had ties to Granbury. So, and actually I've gotten two phone calls in the last three days. Can I hang stuff in the gallery? Well, no, not now you can't. It's, the ride's over. <laughs> but, but the reality is that if you build it, they will come. Mm -hmm. And a cool place made people feel like they could, uh, that like, you know, a little bit outsider made people feel like they could hang stuff. It mm -hmm. felt really accessible, and it, it, it was not intimidating gallery space. You know what I mean? I, I think that was what the, my most favorite part about it. Is that even though there was some very yeah. fine art in here, the whole space was really approachable and it put art in front of people that maybe wouldn't have seen it and artists that maybe not would not have fit into a different gallery space. Young artists, emerging artists, yeah. and local artists, and some of them very accomplished, but a handful of people who was their very first place to oh, hang. Yeah. And that was really cool. And we Steve actually sold, being one of yep, those. Yep, yep, and actually sold work in Corey Crump, too. Corey Crump, too, absolutely. So, um, and, and Stephen Wilson, this was his first gallery experience. And Amy Young, even though her stuff isn't here, that was her first. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, as far as first time hanging anywhere. Oh, uh, and Tammy Buchanan, this was her first experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, really cool. A sweet opportunity. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, now I think I, and I also, I went over the entire books. Um, sales for the eight months that we were here were just under $9,000. That's a lot, of, that's a lot of moving in just eight months. I think, you know, we could have, we could have probably could have done more than that, except that we weren't here most of the time. And it was right. just... People just, just trying to find that, you, yeah. yeah, and say, "Hey, I want to buy this piece of art," and that wasn't even sales pressure. That's that's not m me. Uh, we just opened the that's doors. That's not me going like this to somebody <laughs> trying to sell them a piece of art like I normally have to do, because uh, I have those tactics as well. But um, <laughs> it was just people saying, "Hey, I really love this, and I want to buy it." And I had two people that actually had to really come back several times before they could really connect with somebody, and so that means that they really. They wanted it real bad, and they were willing mm. to do whatever they had to do to get it. Yeah, no, so you're right. So that's really, really cool. And so that, uh, so a, a nice percentage of that went straight to the theater. Absolutely. So almost three thousand dollars. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I think. It was tremendous. Yeah. And you know, the cool. beginning of it was so interesting because we really just, from our standpoint, you know, we just wanted foot, foot traffic. Yeah. Right. Yep. To get people because we had yep. a space that was usable, but it was too big for what we really needed. Yep. And so it was, it was dormant in here, and it seemed like it was a space that was desirable for somebody, and oh, yeah. art seemed to be the right thing. So It absolutely is. And, you know, though we didn't know exactly what we were getting into mm -mm. at the very beginning, it didn't make a difference, no. right? Because it sort of was its own thing, and it grew right. Right. naturally. And right. And I don't have to have a preset plan, actually. I'm, we're both freewheeling we're kind of people. Free on and that, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm actually more comfortable in an environment where it kind of grows and morphs and does its thing and you you feel it out along the way. I guess I'm not a person without a, a solid plan look, usually and, no. I, I'm, and I'm really good like that. Yeah. Like plan A, B, C, and D, those are all mine. And so I don't have to have a, you know, a complete go right ahead. I have to know what's happening. I'm actually better with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I think we were just talking about that, that, that we went to see the uh, exhibit at the, ki at the Kimball and... Um, Moreau is such an interesting mm -hmm. painter, mm -hmm. you know, because he free associates 
the style is he just puts his paintbrush on the canvas and then starts to go with it. And wherever the paintbrush takes him is where the art goes. Right. right? It's very automated. And it's kind of like that. That's how this felt. Yeah. Where it was very uh, yeah. sort of free associating, yeah, like making something that we knew yeah. would be wonderful for the community and yes. for the artists involved, but we didn't know exactly what it was going to be. And, mm -hmm. and it did. It took on a life of its own. And, mm -hmm. And it turned out great. I, yeah. I mean, and I, we if became friends. If we had friends, a glass of wine, then we would go we like would this. We would cheers to yeah. you and to you. Yeah. We, we didn't have enough wine, you and I. That no, was our didn't. only problem. <laughs> we can make up for that. But, but we've got time. <laughs> yeah, we've got we have time. <laughs> but yes. we probably will do something together. You know, when the opera house opens, which yeah, is very soon. Yeah, you get soon, the dust settling and. We'll settle. There's, there's yes. space in there. We'll yeah. find. It seems It'll, like we can do something. We'll figure it out. And I, that's A, B, C, and D. That might be plan E and F. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, somewhere, there will be a spot for this troupe of artists in some place or capacity. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Um, even if it's just hanging work there, you know, I, I've had a lot of ideas. So you're not done with me yet. I mean, you think you are, but you're really <laughs> not. I mean, you can run, but you can't. <laughs> oh, no. No. You're supposed to do this. <laughs> yeah. Stella. Yeah. Hilarious. We are doing. We are doing that show you this are, year, so. as a matter of fact. Stella. <laughs> well, I've got lots of ideas, so you're not. <laughs> you're not shedding me yet. You think you are, but you are not. Wonderful. So, anyway. So, and we but also we got we got to see some killer artists, right? I mean, some different oh, things. Oh yeah. You know, oh. these are these are pieces that I became familiar with from friends who just happened to run across it on yep. the, his website. Yep. And then the conversation, the dialogue started that mm -hmm. maybe we potentially could get something like this here. And then eventually yep. on our final night we did. And, and, yeah. and what a concept art, Yeah, and he's right? a crazy guy. And I really, really enjoyed meeting him. And I, I think for me, working with other artists, I'll go back to that over and over again because I've always been in a boat by myself. Mm. But I was recently reading a very cool article about um, collectives, art collectives pop up all over North Texas and that's what I kind of see this as, a collective mm -hmm. that maybe will pop in somewhere else. Actually, I would love to do a collaborative work between a lot of these artists and when I clean up my welding area, we're still going to do that. But um, So that's why you think you're done with me. You're not. Sorry. And so, um, I, yeah, this still be other opportunities and other interesting things that can come from working with a group of artists that I never would have met otherwise. Yeah. And so, um, and you included. So, yeah. you know, I think um, we're paving the way for some interesting, fun times in the art scene in Granbury, and uh, I'm not afraid. Of the Agreed. I mean, the, I think the, the cool thing is, is that it was that art is alive in Grand Oh, yeah. Right? It, I mean, yeah. And from a totally outsider's perspective, I, I really mm -hmm. don't have any idea. I assume mm -hmm. so, but then to yeah, see you it... Yeah, you hope. I you mean, hope you that hope. It would be, but there are wonderful artists, too, yeah. that are doing, doing great work. Doing all kinds of cool stuff. Right? Yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. And that's the nice thing about Grand is there. it is kind of... It's an interesting place, right, mm -hmm. that we live in, that mm -hmm. there's this kind of talent that exists here, and there's performing art that's going on. Yes. The music scene here is very it's, good. It's and really good. And uh, it's a nice little place, yeah. you know, as far as art's concerned. There's yeah, no doubt and, about that. and people making things and crafting things and, you know, wine and beer and high craft and art and performance and culinary. And, you know, when it all can come together in a really nice tiny little package. Mm. And um, so you're, you think you're done with me, but you are not. <laughs> I can't wait. And we have a wonderful television station, too, that yeah. we can talk on. Whenever we want, as eat a matter watermelon. of fact. Eat watermelon. We can eat watermelon, <laughs> which was one of the great shows. I hope you enjoyed that show. That was really cause good. Because that was a good one for us. It was good. <laughs> it was, yeah, and we also had lovely. one in your warehouse, which was a lot of oh, fun. That, that's, yeah, that was a little cray. Next time we, next time we film over there, actually, it's going to be tidy, because <laughs> that's what I've been working on, is trying to get it tidied up over there so I can invite people over. <laughs> <laughs> we had one one episode where Brooke was dancing in the in background. The background. Mm -hmm. That was a that was a, a fun good one. one. Yeah. It was a good one. So we've had a great time. Yeah, good on. We you. hope we haven't bored you all uh, with anything we've ever no. said because we find ourselves quite entertaining. You're entertaining. Um, I think you're entertaining. You're entertaining. <laughs> Love. All right, are we done? We're done. Bye, everybody.
Hi, my name is Cynthia James and I'm owner and artist of Artifacts and I want to welcome you to the season of uh, our gallery uh, through November and December. But first I want to introduce you to the galleries of Granberry and our spirit of giving tree. We're calling to all artists and I know this is a little bit of short notice but we need your work so that we can support our local students. We'll need your work by November 12th doesn't need to be new, it can be something you already have. And the show or auction that we're going to be doing for the Spirit of Giving is from November 15th to December 15th and we're going to have a number of galleries uh, that will be participating in this silent auction and more of that information will be a, you will be able to find on the galleries of Granberry page and on each of our separate uh, artifacts page, your private collection page, uh, etc. on Facebook. So if you do need any information just please give us a, a call and I'll be glad to help you with that. Uh, we love to support our youth. It's how we became artists and last year we were able to donate over three thousand dollars worth of equipment to our two middle schools and our ninth grade school. So please come and join us and if you're not can't join us as an artist then please come in and auction off uh, our work and come and auction our work. Thank you. Now I may not be able to make everything and I just may want to learn but there's not enough time in the day much less in my life to learn it all. So I want to introduce and showcase the Kitris balls. They're made from a family of glass blowers uh, in Canada and we have some of their larger balls up here and then on this tree I have quite a few of their smaller balls and what we love about these large large or small is they have have these small little trees in them. I've never seen it before and hope that they keep this and don't have to share it. But again, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I also have a line of beautiful ornaments um, from uh, Jay Davis and he raccoons so they're out of clay and none of no two of those are alike as well because with the raccoon process you never quite know where the colors are going to come from. Uh, we also have uh, these candles that are lifetime candles from Arkansas again a, a US owned business and they're with floral bo botanicals and you just refill them with pure lamp oil so it's a great gift and I love it because when there's no oil the light goes out and it's a safe way to have a beautiful candle and then last but not least in this area I love these birds and I am realizing can you see this down here so since you can't I'm going to bring it up to you and we love our rock birds and I still have quite a wonderful selection of herons large and small not all of them are this large I have these in my yard and in the backdrop I'll have a real heron and I just they're they're beautiful and they come from an artist out of Minnesota so we're going to switch an area uh, to a nationally known artist called Patience Brewster. Now we're over in the area with the Patience Brewster. We had quite a few of her things last year, but this year I'm carrying even more of her beautiful work. She's very whimsical, and since I'm not, it seemed like a beautiful fit. I've admired her work for many, many years, and now we have her in the shop. She started out as an illustrator, and in about the year 2000, uh, Department 56, I'm sure you've heard of with snow angels and snow houses, etc., decided that they wanted to start creating her illustrations into creatures and they're fabulous just absolutely fabulous and then I guess about two years ago she went on her own and she's been doing fabulously ever since then we have everything from the reindeers Santa and Mrs. Claus to wonderful cats and dogs and small and large ornaments to the nativity scene they all have a little bit of charm a whole lot of character and hopefully you'll come in and, and enjoy the line. Uh, you'll have to look for the window because I have some very large ones as well. A cute little pig and a fabulous penguin. So now we're going to go and explore the rest of the shop.
Now you know that upstairs in my loft, we have Art Aloft, uh, four fabulous painters, Yvonne Sailors, Bonnie Chilcutt, Joe Schaefer, and Stan Bolin. Now they've created some absolutely fabulously gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas balls. And they're not so Christmassy that you can't leave them out all year and so reasonably priced. But I also want you to think about not only my work, but their gorgeous work as a gift uh, of art to give it the Christmas season. As a matter of fact, the one right here has my name on it. So my mother's pretty generous at Christmas, so I'm going to put the bug in her ear that I want one of these paintings. But upstairs, they not only do the gorgeous paintings, but they teach a variety of classes. They have Fun Day Friday. Uh, the other night, they actually put on a birthday party, and the lady, the gift from her husband was to pay for everybody's class. They had an absolutely fabulous time. Uh, they also have gift cards. They're starting to make coasters. So please don't forget art at Artifacts for Christmas. Welcome back to the Dora Lee Langdon Center. I'm Joel Beck, the program coordinator, and I would especially love to welcome you this month to our special show that will take us through December 18th, The Comanche Nation, the story of Cynthia Ann and Quanah Parker. This show is a partnership between Preserve Granbury, the Texas Lake Trail, the city of Granbury, and Tarleton State University, and we're very proud to have this traveling exhibit in Granbury when we finally could get it. The show, as I said, runs through December 18th. It is open every day, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturday, 10 to 3. Along with this exhibit, we have some special activities going on. The first one on Saturday, November 2nd. Then again, on Friday, November 15th. Sunday, November 17th. And finally, on December 11th. They are a variety of book readings, book signings, movie viewings, and everything in between pertaining to the Comanche Nation, uh, Cynthia Ann, or Quanta Parker. We'd love to see you at our show, and we'd love to see you at our special exhibits. Also, on Friday, November 8th, we've got another special show featuring the Granbury Saxophone Quartet and their patriotic songs. So join us in the concert hall at 7 p.m. on November 8th. The Galleries of Granbury hope you enjoyed this program. Please let us know other items you would like included in our weekly program. We also would love you to visit us in the galleries.